everybody and welcome back to my channel today I have got another dupe for y'all I have been slacking on these and I'm so sorry I have two that I haven't filmed yet and I actually wasn't able to get a hold of the last set of dupes and it broke my heart I'm hoping I can get them eventually but today I have got for you the artistry palette this is from bad habit like always and this is what it looks like inside if you can't tell even though I haven't filmed with it I love it. Uh, the Master Palette by Morio is one that came out right before I got into high-end makeup. So the one that I had, I thought it was real, like a dummy. And it turned out I'd gotten a hold of a fake, so it didn't work at all. This is like a thousand times better, and the Master Palette by Morio is limited edition, so you can't get it anymore. So if you want that palette, this is a wonderful option. I've been using it all the time. But I wanted to hop in here today, get you some swatches, get you a tutorial, tell you how I feel about it basically, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's on my lips right now is the Crepe Finds Controversy Lippy. This is amazing. It is kiss proof, food proof, drink proof. I even did a CrossFit workout with it on, didn't move at all. This stuff is incredible. So definitely an amazing option we've got an affordable lippy an affordable palette all kinds of beautiful affordable things today <laughs> so that is it for my intro just want to remind y'all enter my giveaway we are indeed over 800 now but the goal is a thousand for us and five thousand for crate finds and their squad so go ahead and enter that giveaway i'll put the link in the description like i always do and I, let's go ahead and give you your swatches Okay, so here are the swatches for the Artistry palette. You've got your first row is this first six. We've got some neutrals that are shimmer and matte. And then we have this olive green and kind of a dark, dingy, not dingy, like grungy blue. And then you have your really warm colors through here. We've got some browns and kind of orangey colors, kind of a terracotta and a darker brown. And these are all pretty pigmented uh, they're really creamy a couple of them were a little powdery like this color right here and uh, this one I think were the only ones that were really powdery but they all swatch out really nicely and blend very well okay so now that you've got your swatches it is time to get straight into this tutorial I hope you all like this look and I hope you enjoy it and I will see you when we are done with these eyes Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take the Artistry palette with an E27 and we're going to dip into Pearl. And I've been using this for my transition shade when I use this palette. It's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to a doe color brush. This one has like the goat hairs in it. And we are just going to go into Mona right here. And we're going to take that all over the crease. Okay, so after Mona, just to deepen it up one more time, we're going to take Tuscany, that's right here, and we're going to lay it down in the crease as well, just a little lower down, and more in that outer corner. Okay, so the direction I want to go here. And I'm hoping it works out. I want to take Laurel right here and I'm going to try it with a brush first and put that in my inner and outer corners to set up for a halo eye. And I am going to switch brushes again just so I can be sure I get a lot of the pigment I want. And I'm just going to try to get that as dark as I can. Okay, 
Okay, so that worked a lot better if I just patted it in with the brush like directly into it instead of trying to blend it out. So that worked out well. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go ahead and take Daphne right here. It's a really pretty light, almost gold color. And I'm going to put that in the center of the lid and I am going to do this with my finger. Okay, and for my last step before I go clean all this up, I'm going to go ahead and go into Sophia right here, and I'm just going to tap that into my outer corner, and I'm also going to clean up down here and just put a little bit of what's left over on my lower lash line. Okay guys, so this is going to be the completed look. I went ahead and added some winged liner and a little bit of mascara, which I think I found my new holy grail. I actually did manage to get this for free with an ambassador program uh, where I just did referrals and I got a full size of this new benefit, They're Real, for free and it's awesome. And I also got the Hula Bronzer, <clears throat> which I'm still adjusting to. It's a little different than what I'm used to, but I really like it as well. I've been having so much fun with these new Benefit products and I use their brand new pearl primer. Stuff is amazing. <laughs> but this is the final look with my Artistry palette. I definitely love this palette. I actually waited a while to do this because I use the palette like anytime I'm not filming a video for y'all, like just my daily makeup. I've used this every day because it's just like a neutral girl's dream and that's what I wear daily. So I've been using the crap out of this palette like you saw at the beginning. Um, I absolutely love it. It is so easy to work with. It's really good that they made a dupe for the Mario palette. And I'm going to say that because I know people disagree with dupes. But that is a limited edition. It's not going to come back. If it does come back, it'll be super limited. So for people that maybe weren't into makeup when it came out, or you know people who just couldn't afford it back then, it's a really good option. That way you still get that same color layout. I don't know that it's necessarily the same formula, but it is definitely the same color layout. Works amazing. Like, I really like it. <laughs> but that is it for today's look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial like always. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video. <laughs> Bye you guys.